So we must begin by supporting the ambitious reform agenda that Secretary General Guterres is now leading to create a more agile, transparent and joined up organisation. Much of this work will be practical and unglamorous. It will require the UN to deliver better cooperation on the ground between agencies, remove competition for funding and improve gender equality. But it will also require real leadership to confront damaging issues that have beset the UN. So I welcome the Secretary General's new circle of leadership on preventing sexual exploitation and abuse in UN operations, and I'm pleased to be part of this initiative. We, the nations of the UN, need to give the Secretary General our backing for these reforms. And as an outward looking global Britain and the second biggest funder of the UN, the UK will remain committed to spending 0.7% of GNI on development and humanitarian support. We will use our military to support peacekeeping and our diplomats will continue to work to tackle conflict and support peace building. In turn, the UN and its agencies must win our trust by proving to us and the people we represent that they can deliver. And that is why we will remain generous in our funding, but set aside 30% to be paid only to those parts of the UN that achieve sufficient results.